You know what? I feel absolutely awful. I've got the worst hangover ever. You sound awful. I know I do. It's I quite know. sexy though, the huskiness. I is like it, it sexy though, or do I sound like Marge Simpson? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no. no. Is it? I think it's sexy, honestly. Oh, I'm just like, I don't feel the best at the moment anyway, I'm not going to lie. Like, even the other day, I was like, somebody even with Elma, and she's like, asking me about my business. And like, I don't want to talk about it because, like, it's not going on anymore. Yeah, no, that's, that's what fine. I mean. Like, that's this is fine. I mean. This, is happen this happens all the time. It happened to me. I had a clothing brand and it lasted a couple of months and then I shut it down. Oh, one too. Like, yeah. so rubbish. Like, I put so much into that and I really wanted it to do really well. You, you put too much pressure on yourself. Yeah, you do. You're never going to excel on the first thing you ever do because it's all trial and error. And there's part of me that just feels embarrassed. No, don't feel embarrassed. Why Who cares? Embarrassed? Like, obviously, we had this massive launch and the brand was, like, doing amazing on our first drop. It, it sold out. And then there was just, like, miscommunication between, like, everyone that was involved for our second drop. And they just didn't want to continue. I'm such a proud person and like I wanted it to go really well and I, I genuinely thought it was going to do amazing. It wasn't meant to be yeah. and that is fine. Like something else will be, will come and it will be meant for you. Yeah. We love you, Chloe. We, we think you need a sweaty hug. Oh, yeah. I'm very sweaty. <laughs> oh, my God. Pete did tell me that Hannah and Liam had kissed in a game at the cabins. Mm. I ain't shocked. I know that boy, like the back of my hand. Someone has only got to look at him for longer than 10 seconds and he's he's into it, do you know what I mean? Mm. He, wants, so, he, he wants to be with a girl. It doesn't matter who they are, what they look like, how long it's been going on for, he wants that. He wants mm. someone there. How does it make you feel, though, that he's kissed her? Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Come on, you've no, got to lay it out, Dan. Lay it out. Just lay I can't out. have you sitting at home being upset. I'd rather you no. get upset in here. It's just hard. That's why I don't really speak about it, because I'd just rather not get upset. I just never want anyone to make you feel like this, because you're worth so much more than that, Dan. No, no. And one day you will meet someone that will make you so happy. I just never want to see you this upset over someone like Gatsby. <laughs> At the end of the day, like, if you're going to be cracking on, don't set indirects about mm. me. Let me be mm. happy with my circle friends. Yeah. You be happy with your fake circle friends and your new relationship, and then we can crack on with our own lives. I've honestly never seen a smile so big on your face <laughs> since you've been single. Literally. And that yeah. says a lot, Dan. We all have to have relationships like that because that will show us that that is not what we want and that is not what we're going to settle for. Now, leave that chapter closed it's done. and move on. Done. And it's been a bit of a strange old time, isn't it? You go into hospital in a few days for the operation, which has been on my mind. I always sort of, with you and Dad, I'm so close with you both, and I've always felt you was immortal. Yeah. Obviously, I know you're worried about me. Do you, you know, how does that make you feel? I don't think I've fully accepted it. Like, my mum is going into hospital to have a major operation to cut out the worst disease in the world of her body. That is terrifying no matter you can't beat around the bush there and people go oh it's caught early it's not so, it do doesn't matter it's caught early though. yeah it is it but is it doesn't early. take away i know that word when you hear it as a son is in devastating and i would not wish it upon anyone it, I, I i didn't register it for a couple of days i shrugged it well, off it's a shock isn't it you rush into straight away right what we're going to do and your mm. mind goes 100 mile an hour but mm. then at a point you've you're sitting there all of a sudden you're thinking See, I had my bad day, didn't I, the other Wednesday? Mm. And I couldn't even go to work. Didn't even want to get out of bed, did I? It's no. just, it hit me that later on. And that's what I think it does. Mm. And that's what I worry, that I want you to have accepted it and be in a good place with it and not to hit you at some other time. Yeah. Because it's only Friday and I'm going mm. in and... I found, I found it does. I found it, it hits you when you least expect it. Like, oh, I can't even talk about it. It's okay. Don't get upset. I'm fair. Sometimes life isn't fair, but that's, you know, we're going to get through it together and it'll be all good again, won't it? Yeah? Yeah. <sighs> love you. I love you. <sighs> yeah. Don't get upset. I've got to 30, yeah. and it is a bit of a milestone. And I am happy. I'm, I'm, am I happy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy? I'm happy, but... Come on, Seth. Don't get upset. <sighs> I just think 30s are...
in dodgy number. Yeah. Like, we're sitting in the Dominican and I'm thinking, yeah, it's lovely, but... Like... But, Seth, Come on. yeah, you're 30. Look at me, I'm 32. Single mum. Single mum on my own. I expected a lot from myself and I, wouldn't, I can't sit here in kidges and go, do you know what, it's all right, cos it ain't all right no. for me. OK. I think it's just more that 30 comes with a lot of expectation. We don't expect nothing of you apart from being Saf, and Saf is the best. You're an amazing girl with a, the fucking best personality of, of any of the girls I know. You will meet someone. That's another thing, I have been talking to someone. Which is lovely. Yeah, which is lovely. Cos I've enjoyed things in the past and it's gone not great, it's sort of, I've held back from it, but, and he's a lovely bloke. I think maybe I'm just putting pressure on myself. And the age thing's thrown me. Like, listen... Stop thinking about the age. When you just let things happen and let life evolve, it's going to happen for you. You make me cry. Don't cry anymore. <laughs> Don't cry anymore. I'm crying, Rufa. Give me a cuddle. Don't cry anymore. <laughs> so what else has been going on? Um, I see Janaid and Danny the other day. Playbrook had reached out to Janaid. They all want to make amends with each other. Yeah. And I think, like, that leaves me again. Didn't it? And yeah, just... but you shouldn't be so worried about that because you've got your friendship group, you have a nice time and it doesn't really matter. I always keep things in the back of my head as what, with what has happened to me previously with friendships yeah, when you're before. Young. Yeah. And I think... I don't get upset because you make me get upset. I know, you always come off the worst. Always. You do. But you... I'm always the one that's got the heart. Yeah, I know, and you give a lot. You give a lot. But then I feel... You're like me. I've had it all my life. I've had it all my life, Ella. And a lot of it is down to jealousy. Like, I've never had one genuine friend, like, that will stick bed by my side. Like, they always end up running off and being friends with people that I feel like we have to get at me and... I wouldn't be worried about Janaid and I wouldn't be worried about Danny. Listen, I, I listen to you talk to them. They're lovely. Yeah. Like, it's sad. Like, Courtney and Chloe, I've seen nice sides to them as girls and yeah. I think I could easily get on with them. Yeah. They wouldn't be friends with me because it isn't it isn't genuine for their friendship group. But then all my mates can go and be friends. Yeah, and that's what upsets that's me. That's what upsets me because they'd never do it to their friends. And that makes you feel like you're singled out. I've done really well. Oh yeah, I know. For three, to put up with yeah. for three years and I haven't even popped once. But then, I don't do ever that. Think I'd be able to make a business with them because I don't ever think they'd be genuine. What anymore. Crying for then. <laughs> <laughs> when I see my friends have babies, it does make me think like, oh, like, am I maybe waiting too long? My mum had me when she was 30. Yeah. It's made me like stress out even more thinking I've just turned 29. I know I'm nowhere near in the situation where I'm going to be having kids with dad. And I feel like it's like freaking me out thinking like, oh my God. You need to stop putting pressure on it. Like, mm. nowadays, things happen so much later in life. People get married later, people have children later. It's not like when our parents all got married. My mum got married at 20 years old. That's mad. And she had my sister at 22. At 22 years old, I was still a child. I was a child. I'm still a <laughs> child yeah. now. Like, I'm just still a child now. <laughs> <laughs> the joys of being an adult. How long have you lived away from home for? What, was like nine years, eight years ago? Yeah, a long oh, time ago. God. <laughs> Where's my life gone? Everything is all like a blur to you. Yeah. I just feel a bit like... I don't even know how I feel. Is it like you want more in <laughs> your life? Know. I don't cry. It's just... I don't know how I feel about everything. It's just like... I just think me and Dan, I feel a bit like unsettled at the moment and it's just... I just don't know like what my like what my life's gonna be like in like two, three years time. I just don't know where I'm gonna be or where I wanna be. Like I don't know what I want anymore and it's just I've turned twenty nine and it's like hit me like a ton of bricks and I just I'm like panicking about like all of a sudden I'm gonna be thirty four and like am I gonna be married? Am I gonna have kids? I don't know. I don't wanna feel like I'm like wasting my life. Do you know what I mean? This is where you put so much pressure on yourself I and mean, you should just enjoy the moment and not think about what's going to happen in two, three years' time because no-one knows. You just need to go with the flow, go with how you feel. I've been going with the flow for three years and the flow's took me nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I saw the girls yesterday, Courtney yeah. had her nephew, Hudson. Yeah. He's so cute. Is he, yeah? He's like the cutest little baby ever. Obviously, we were just talking about how you know, everyone around us is having babies and getting married and how me, Kylie and Courtney are just not there yet. <laughs> mm. Not there, not there yet at all. I got a bit upset because I was just, obviously, you know, how I've been like, stressing about being 29. Mm. Well, listen, I said to the boys, like, it's normal. Like, I, I felt exactly the same when I was 30. Even now, I feel the same. Like, we're all getting older 
and the pressures of life, obviously you start to feel it because people around you, everyone is at different stages and there is this set thing that everyone's like, oh, by 30, it's marriage, kids. Yeah. It's like we've been sense. back together for three years and it's just flown by so quickly mm. and we're just still not at that point. Yeah, I know. That's just what worries me. I don't know why I keep getting upset about it. It's just like... I just didn't feel like at the age of, I know I'm not 30 yet, but I didn't feel like I'd get to 29 and, and be in this position in my life where I am now. I don't want to get to like 34, like not married with no kids. Like, and that just, that thought scares me. Yeah, I know, but like, I want to be with you. I want to do these things. But it's just so happens that at the moment, it's, there's other stuff, priorities I need to get straight first. I would like to have be sitting in now and had businesses set up already and, and things going and be in a position to say, right, now I can do this, now I can do that. But it, just the way things have worked out, it hasn't gone like that. But now all I can do is make sure I have a plan moving forward for me and for us to, to achieve those things as soon as possible. But like, obviously I don't want you to be sitting here unhappy about it and, and questioning things. No, I don't, I just don't know. We've been together for like such a long time and I just, I feel like we've hit like a, not a bit of a wall, but I don't know, I just feel a bit weird. I just feel like worried and like stressed about everything. I don't want to keep getting upset about it, but I just can't help how I'm feeling in my head. Like, yeah, no, of course, that, 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 but like if you're feeling weird about our relationship, and, and things in that sense, you need to tell me. Do you know what I mean? Because that that is a that that is a problem. Right? If if you're not a hundred percent in this thing with me, like you, you need to say. I don't like talking about stuff like this. But I don't want I don't want you to keep getting upset. I don't. I, just don't but want I know. To talk about I know. It. I know. But like we we have to talk about it. We can't hide from it. It's all just a bit much. No, I just. I, I... I just don't even know what, I'm, what I want anymore. Like, I do know what I want, but it's just like, where it's not happening, it just worries me. I don't really know like what the right thing is to say or do. It's either we, we, we need change together and we go on that journey together, both of us, or there's change and, and we go our separate ways, which is of course not what I want. I'm not sitting here giving you an ultimatum, but you know, it's sort of like you just need to think about whether you're 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 in this with me still or not. Yeah.